guys, this is Michael for Tactical Imperialis. I'm going to conclude my analysis of the Orc Army list today, looking at the heavy support section. Okay, so there are six heavy support units, four of which are vehicles, and um, we'll start at the top with the eponymous Battle Wagon. Ballistic skill 2, front armor 14, side 12, rear 10, transport 20, except with a kill cannon that has a capacity of 12. Uh, mega arm counts as 2, as usual. Mega take. Double cannon. This is strength 7, AP 3, large blast ordnance, 60 inch range, I think. Uh, so, pretty powerful, but it reduces transport. Hard case. This is something new and it allows the vehicle to lose the open top rule for 15 points. So assaulting it becomes harder, but destroying it also becomes harder. The death roller causes extra hits on units when it tank shocks and more again when it's death or glory. So D6 strength 10 for tank shocking, an extra D6 strength 10 for death or glory. Uh, but no AP unfortunately. Red paint job. Again, plus one inch movement, rock riggers, stick bomb chucker, armor plates, boarding plank, wrecking ball, all the things I've discussed before on the truck. Uh, the grabbing claw allows you to latch on to vehicles and prevent them escaping. Uh, very short range though, so unless it's something like a skimmer that you need to lock in place, it's not really that worth it. Reinforced ram, real dangerous terrain test is okay, doesn't really make a difference regards death or glow because you can't be armor six may take in a big gun which i'm going to come on to cannon lobber and zap gun for 10 to 15 points i'm going to come on to big guns they're just over here uh, may take up to four big shooters or rocket launchers i prefer big shooters but you can use rockets just to sheer weight of fire oh, actually considering the death dread 75 points Weapon skill 4, ballistic skill 2, strength 5, initiative 2, 3 attacks, 12, 12, 10. Typical Dreadnought. 2 Dreadnought because combat weapons basic, and then must take 2 more weapons. Be it Big Shooter, Rocket, Custom Mega Blaster, Scorcher, or another Dreadnought because combat weapon. Um, if it was me, I'd probably say a Scorcher, slash Big Shooter, slash Dreadnought because combat weapon. Grot Riggers, maybe armor plates, less so because of, well... You might want to keep moving, but stunned shaken, really, not that much worth it if you ask me. Um, and I should say, in my HQ video, I mentioned that Big Mechs allow Death Dreads to be taken as troops. Yeah, taken as troops. Sorry, my voice is gone all weird. So you can do that if you wish, but that's really a secondary perk of the Big Mech. Uh, the Killer Can is the Death Dreads' little cousin. Uh, weapon skill two. Weapon ballistic skill 3, strength 5, initiative 2, 2 attacks. Same as a Gretchen crossed with the Death Dread. 11, 11, 10. One Dread not cost combat weapon. And then you can take them in squadrons. This is good. And they're only 35 points each. You must take one of Big a Custom Mega, Scorcher, and Grot Zooka. A Grot Zooka is a unique weapon. Which is 18 inch range, strength 6, AP 5, heavy 2, blast. So this is okay. Not the best gun around, but I suppose if you're going into infantry, it's a good thing to have. I would still recommend the Scorcher though. Uh, Grot Riggers and Armour Plates, as I said on my fast attack video about war buggies with vehicle squadrons, is now rendered redundant. So don't take them because they're all, not just a waste logically, but a waste in actual points anyway because of the rules okay flash kits these guys have the same stat line as an orc knob with heavy armor as standard uh they have heavy armor as i said a snaz gun which is 18 i believe uh yeah 24 inch range strength 5 apd6 assault one so reasonable and a git finder basically allowed them to measure range before shooting which you can do now in six anyway so it's a bit of a pointless piece of war gear uh, you may take a pain boy with doctors and dirty syringe which is a poisoned weapon and feel no pain um may take any of the following more daca 
Shootia is plus one strength, and Blasters is minus is makes the AP D six minus one. So that means instead of being if you roll a four, it's now AP three. However, the game gets hot for this, so it's a bit of a balancing act. Uh, more Daka and Shootia are good, but it makes your flash get thirty five points. So it's up to you. Ammo runs for twin link, maybe. Uh, Pain Boy, I've mentioned orderly for re-rolling for your own pain, cyber bodies, and you may take Captain Badruck. Just give me a moment. He's a bit like Boss Zagstruck and Boss Snickrot. He's a upgrade character who's quite powerful. He's 135 points, but WS5, BS2, Strength 4, Toughness 4, should be focusing right about now. Two wounds, initiative three, four attacks, LD9, three plus save. He's got the best non mega armor save in the orc army. The gold two farm and dripper, three pound rocks, boss, boss lugger chopper, git finder, stick bombs. Uh, he has three ammo runs, the powder rocks, separate from the ammo runs allowed by his unit. Gold two farmer, three plus armor, and five plus invulnerable. And the ripper is 24 inch range, strength seven, AP two. In essence, a shot plasma. Apologies for the video skipping again. It's really driving me nuts, this. But a three-shot plasma gun is pretty powerful. A uh, bit risky, though, because three shots, high chance of a one. Um, that's flash gets, and he's 135 points. I've never used them because flash gets don't have models, and I never really enjoyed using them. I'm more of a melee guy myself. Uh, now we come to big guns. I mentioned these earlier in the battle wagon entry. They're crewed by grots and have runt herds. Uh, one to three big guns, two grots per crew. Sorry, two grot crew per gun. Uh, same war gear, furious charge if you want. Um, maybe cho must be chosen for one of these. Cannons are basically missile launchers. Four, five, blast, or eight, three, single shot. Lobbers are strength 5, AP 5, large blast, barrage. And zap guns are AP 2, single shot, strength 2d6. So, so you roll 2d6 for the strength. So if you get a 4 and a 5, it's 9. If you roll above 10, so i.e. 11 or 12, you kill a member of the crew, but the shot counts as strength 10. So it's not all good. Not like the shock attack gun. It may take ammo runs, extra crew. I would recommend extra crew if you're running big guns, just especially. Uh, the guns are armor 10 all round. I'm not sure about the artillery rules. I'd need to look them up. I'm going to be honest. Uh, may include a run herd if you wish uh, for morale, but that's up to you. Uh, looted wagon uh, 11, 11, 10, 12 transport capacity, unless you take a boom gun. Don't press that. This is because it's not an orc vehicle. So you roll the D6 at the start of every turn. On a 1, the vehicle moves full speed forwards, tank shocking anything in its way. Not good. Uh, you, there's no way to mitigate this, I believe. So unlucky. But you can make up for it with things like the boom gun. This is the equivalent of a Lehman Russ battle cannon. Strength A, AP3, large blast ordnance, lots of damage. But it is expensive. Then again, a looted wagon is only 35 points. So, not bad. May take a scorcher. So, you keep the transport and you get a heavy flamer. Take up to two big shooters or rockets. Same upgrades on the battle wagon, except no death roll, I believe. Hard case, paint jar, briggers, chucker, plates, plank, ball, ram, claw. Yeah, same upgrades. Uh, that's about that's the whole heavy support section. In terms of what gets used. Battle wagon you see in the games. The war boss, if he's on foot or whatever, usually carrying either a large mob or a specialized mob. Uh, the Death Dread, despite the awesome kit that it has, I don't see enough of it because it's actually quite powerful, if you ask me. Uh, killer cans, again, quite fragile, but I would run them if I had the points in the models. Flash gets no models, similar to knobs, but not as good as knobs in a way, because they don't get bike options or all the weapon options. But the guns are quite useful if you need a shooty unit, and I always, always recommend ammo runs. I wouldn't recommend Badruck, though. That's too expensive for me. 
big guns as a guard player with heavy weapon teams i know what they can do but i don't like them personally because grots don't like grots Luter wagon i used to swear by a Luter wagon with a boom gun because it scared the living daylights out of everybody it was really powerful and for 100 points it was all worth it if you ask me so in terms of rank order probably one of these th probably these three or and all the battle wagon but i wouldn't run these two so that concludes the York codex analysis um i will do a short video just maybe doing a sample i think um that's about it for today um if you have any opinions or comments about the orcs or the channel then feel free to leave them in the comments uh if i haven't already the battle report will be up soon after this so at least the final part of it will be um be sure to like the video if you enjoyed this or the series or want to see more um we love getting feedback from you guys we'd really appreciate if you could get in touch uh, thank you for watching and sticking by it hope this has helped you with your learning of the orcs if you want to play them or beat them why would you uh thank you again my name is michael and i will see you again